Om Shanti. Welcome to your own channel. Seek the soul that truth lies within. And here we are with the 347 day of Akwari blessing. And here again, God Father Brahm, Brahma and Supreme Father is trying to teach us how to become like Father Brahma or how to become like Adam. So let's explore that. In this blessing, Baba says, May you reveal Father Brahma's actions through the mirror of your elevated actions. Now there's a mirror in which we see a physical face. Uh, physical features but God says there's a mirror in every soul every soul has got their own mirror and they can reflect on that when they're sitting in meditation that what all karmas are good which are in my in my contract and which all karmas are bad karmas which I've done in my contract just like a businessman knows where the profit is and where the loss is so God says mirror of your elevated actions and become equal to Father Brahma let's get into the explanation every elevated Brahmin soul is a mirror of father brahma's actions in every action they perform so brahmin soul means what anybody who knows adam or father brahma and knows the knowledge of father brahma or knowledge of adam or what knowledge adam had about god and god's creation that being or that soul is known as a brahmin let father Brahm, let father brahma's actions be visible in the mirror of your actions the speaking, the way you speak, your walking, sitting and doing everything of the children who perform every action with such attention are like those of Father Brahma. So the way we speak, either it's a hasty way of speaking, very quick, in a lot of rage or anger, the way we walk, either it is too swift or too fidgety, the way we sit is in a stressful situation, we are sitting with a lot of stress and it can be shown in your physical, in your physicality or the way you are doing everything in your world can be seen as either stressful or peaceful. So you are reflecting something every single day through your actions. So God says that should reflect Father Brahma. Every action would be worthy of a blessing and blessings would constantly be emerging through the lips. So the way we act, either it's peaceful, in a happy, jovial manner or blissful manner and that's what we reflect and that's the vibrations which we reflect and they will show how Father Brahma has taught us how to be in every situation. So every action would be would be worthy of a blessing for whom? For those who are around you and blessings would constantly be emerging through the lips. They'll see patience in you or they'll see tolerance in you or they'll see the reflection of finding out reasoning, finding out solutions or they'll see you getting frustrated or irritated or angry or throwing around your fits when you're in a situation. So either of these two things, one is showcasing Father Brahma, the other one is not showcasing Father Brahma. So then God says some speciality would be visible even in their ordinary actions. So that speciality can be seen even if it's in an ordinary action, could be anything which you're doing throughout the day. So claim the certificate and you will then be said to be equal to Father Brahma. So what is the certificate? This is not a physical certificate which you get even though this is a university but this is a certificate which you get when you are in peace and love and happiness yourself you will understand what that certificate exactly it is a certificate attained by the soul not by this physical body and there are three certificates which you get one is from god one is from you yourself you have to give yourself a certificate whether you are doing well or not in the spiritual journey in life and other certificate comes from people, whether you're giving them love, happiness, peace, or you're making their life miserable. So either of this. Now, how do you do that? How do you make everybody's life happy, peaceful, blissful? Is what you learn at Brahma Kumaris. And that needs a lot of learning of spiritual knowledge and meditation. You're welcome to visit your Brahma Kumaris center, which is in your own city, in your own, maybe next to your own home, where you stay. And do visit it and learn this knowledge for free. Have a blessed good night, Om Shanti.